I see a lot of first-year university students lately are being asked questions about effusion or molecules, tra gas molecules escaping from a container through a hole in the container. One of the related calculations is how many times faster do H2 molecules escape rather than N2 molecules at a particular temperature. And the reason it's interesting is because it's the ratio of the root mean square speeds. The root mean square speed of hydrogen divided by the root mean square speed of nitrogen will give us how many times faster it is. We can use the root mean square speed formula to get that ratio. And what you might notice is that as long as it's at the same temperature, the three RTs cancel out. Here we actually end up dividing a fraction by a fraction and the M2 flips to the numerator. And so the ratio of the RMS speeds is the square root of the ratio of the molar masses. Now, what that means is that you need the molar mass of nitrogen, which is about 28 grams per mole, and the molar mass of hydrogen, which is about two grams per mole. And so that ends up being root 14, but I don't know what the square root of 14 is. It's apparently 3.74, which means H2 travels 3.74 times faster than N2 molecules on average. And thus, if you the molecules are escaping through a hole, or effusing through that hole, the H2 molecules will escape 3.74 times faster. 3.74 times as many H2 molecules will get through the hole as N2 in the same amount of time. Cool. The ratio of how much faster they travel or how much faster they effuse is the square root of the ratios of the molar masses. Best of luck.